This is a live channel television event. Actually, the opening prayer happens to be the second stanza of the national anthem, so I'm going to ask if we'll all still rise again. us God this occasion has now been handed over to the Almighty in Jesus name Amen. please be seated you're welcome to the live coverage of the inaugural annual Chibo girls lecture organized by the bring back our girls group this inaugural lecture is holding on the third anniversary of the abduction of 219 Chibo girls the inaugural lecture is to ensure that the Chibok girls are not forgotten and to serve as a reminder that 195 girls are still in captivity. When shall we stop? When shall we stop? Where are we from? Where are we from? Who are we? Who are we? What's our core value? H U M A N I T E E D S. What are we fighting for? And the fight for the Chibok girls is the soul of Nigeria and the world. Thank you very much. Dr. Chingwe Madubike, thank you very, very much. Well, so in case you were not very sure where you are, now you know. <laughs> I have to warm you very welcome, very uh, warmly again to this event. I will now invite... Okay, I will now invite Edith Yesen to come and set the tone for us uh, and talk about an institutional video which is going to air for about six minutes. Dear Edith, thank you. Beautiful. Good morning, everyone. I stand on existing protocols. Uh, this video we had to do because we wanted to capture the essence of what this movement has been all about. And um, it wasn't easy to squeeze it all into six minutes. In fact, originally we had wanted to do three minutes and then there was so much material and there was so much to say that we now said, okay, five minutes. In fact, every time I come up to talk about it, I say it's a five-minute video. But in essence, it is six minutes plus. I, well, I can't say that we captured everything, but we tried. And since um, I love production, and Dr. Iman Shehu, who did the scripting for the video, managed to capture almost everything. So if you watch this video and you feel that there's, there are a few gaps, it's because we can't tell a three-year story in so short a time. But I appeal to you that when you watch it, you just try to go with the story and enjoy what we have captured so far. And I hope that it will enlighten those who have not followed us on this journey on how far we have come and what it means to stand 
for fellow Nigerians, 219 girls and now 195 Chibok girls. They are our daughters. And in this video, we also tried to make everyone understand that one Nigerian girl is a Nigerian daughter. And what is good for a Nigerian girl that is highly placed is also good for a Nigerian girl that is almost at the bottom of the ladder. So we hope that this video will help you come along with us on this three-year journey. And we also hope that after this, those who have not been on this journey with us will join us permanently until our 195 girls are back. And I, as I always say, when shall we stop? When shall we stop? My name is Edith Yersin. Thank you. In a blink, they were taken without a choice. With no reason, they were taken without a voice. So very young, I know. The Boko Haram is the new height of terror on April 14, 2014, with an attack on the government girls secondary school Chibok in Borno State. In the aftermath of the night attack, the school was burnt down and 276 female students were taken away. For several days, official response was characterized by a weird mixture of confusion and indifference. The military claimed it had rescued all but eight of the girls, then almost immediately retracted the statement. While President Jonathan remained silent on the issue, his wife, Dame Patience Jonathan, intervened with what became a farcical show and misuse of power as she harassed the concerned women from Chibok in Abuja who had tried to raise public awareness. A concerted protest followed on April 30, 2014. A crowd of concerned men and women headed to the National Assembly from the Unity Fountain. Not even the torrential rainfall could deter their resolve to call for the immediate rescue of the abducted Chibok school girls. That march signaled the birth of the Bring Back Our Girls movement as several people returned the next day and began a daily sit-out at the Unity Fountain. The subsequent marches and online trending of the hash attention. Soon, several high-profile personalities across the globe, from political leaders to entertainers, showed solidarity by posing with the now familiar symbol of Bring Back Our Matches under the banner of Bring Back Our Girls were no longer an Abuja or Lagos affair as concern for the fate of the Chibok girls spread across the world from Africa to New Zealand. lingered with no evidence of credible rescue efforts. Some of the girls escaped, leaving 219 in the clutches of the terrorists. The Bring Back Our Girls movement evolved into a proper advocacy with online presence regular press statements, vigils, symposia, prayers, marches and engagement with foreign dignitaries and embassies. Despite hostile reactions by state institutions, including ban on marches, barricading access routes to the presidency 
of physical threats and attacks. The movement has been undeterred. It focuses on its objective of ensuring the rescue of all the Chibok school girls and other abductees by taking actions within the laws of the land. The movement has spearheaded interventions on issues including corruption in the military, the plight of internally displaced persons and the need for a national register for missing persons. These were done long before some of the issues came to the front burner in the public domain. Naturally, the movement has developed a template called VERSE for use in the rescue and proper rehabilitation of the Chibok girls. These documents were passed on in the meeting with President Buhari when he took over from Good Luck Jonathan. Since then, 23 of the Chibok girls have returned, either through having been found or getting their release negotiated. The movement remains resolved on its singularity of purpose that all the abducted Chibok school girls must be accounted for. Well, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We move now to the next item on our list. And uh, as we do that, I understand that a number of people will be coming up here to be seated here. Um, and I would ask quickly that uh, they be brought up stage. <laughs> 